Jean. She was a very vivacious girl, um, but yeah, she was very sporty. She really enjoyed running. She ran nationally from a very young age um, and uh, loved travelling and anything that came her way. She was up for it, always up for it. Clarissa Nichols was studying languages at Cambridge University and had her whole life ahead of her. Living in France as part of her studies, she embarked on a hiking trip on the Maybank holiday this year. Nothing different all that day, lots of walking. They swam in the lake in a really sort of private area, a lovely little beach that they'd found. Um, and they then had a picnic lunch by the, by the lake and then they took this path up the hill, which was quite steep. And I know that there was a lot of huffing and puffing, but her friend says how Clarissa was right ahead and it was very difficult for her to keep up because Clarissa was always marching on ahead and nothing could really stop her. And all of a sudden, Clarissa put out her hands, I gather, and in front of her as if to stop her from falling forwards and said, oh no. And obviously had something that she must have felt presumably in her heart, and she fell back into her friend's arms. By chance, an American medic was hiking nearby. The American came down and gave her CPR and worked on her for half an hour, but she's told us that even the first point of, of seeing Clarissa, she, she could tell there was nothing there. And I've asked the police who have spent a lot of time talking to us about it and giving us a lot of support what would have happened if that had happened right outside the hospital and nothing could have helped her even then because it's such a big explosion that happens in your in the heart but there was no sign of anything before this it's just such a shock Also, tell us when you started to piece together what had happened. We did, within a few weeks, get a report back on her heart, which told us that she had a heart condition. Which was another bold... ..bowling over scenario for the family, because, first of all, we have to get around the fact that she's not, she's not with us anymore, and then we have to realise that she's actually had a heart condition, which none of us realised. Well, this, this is our, the entrance to our laboratory, where we actually handle all the hearts that come to us. Professor Mary Shepherd is a pathologist specialising in the kind of heart conditions that cause sudden cardiac death in the young. She examined Clarissa's heart after she died and discovered, unknown to her, she had a fatal condition called arrhythmogenic cardiomyopathy. How long have we known about that particular abnormality? Only really on, on a large scale level since the 2000, since the beginning of this century. When I was a medical student, it was utterly unknown. We've seen figures that maybe there are 12 deaths of young people a week. How common do you think this kind of sudden cardiac death in the young is? I would say of young people under the age of 35, if I was to say how many die suddenly, I'd say 20 per week would be my estimate. So potentially almost twice as many as I currently are being so. estimated? Yes, that would be my estimate from talking to people and families throughout the country who say, well, the case was never referred to you or never referred for an expert cardiac opinion.
She ran nationally from a very young age, a very vivacious girl, um, but yeah, she was very sporty. If you look at the evidence, it shows that this silent killer affect mainly those people who are actually quite fit, which is a huge irony. And specifically sporty young people. And specifically sporty young people. And specifically sporty young people. She was somebody who had the most enormous number of friends. It is a cruel irony that young athletes like Clarissa, determined to test their own physical prowess, are most vulnerable to a defect they never knew they carried within them. The one comfort for her family is they know she wouldn't have wanted to live life any differently. Water looks like this. It has a very uh, uh, regular organization. You can see here what we found in our uh, deceased persons. You can see that the uh, aorta is split, the uh, media is necrotic, and uh, there are inflammatory infiltrates. destruction of the elastic lamella, you can see that the elastic lamella are discontinuous. Uh, uh, media necrosis of the aorta, you can see here that uh, the, the wall of the aorta is split into two parts and in the middle there's this uh, black, this is a blood uh, bleeding. And this is a histological preparation. You can see very clear that there's a media necrosis and you can see here that there's a dense inflammatory infiltrate. And, uh...